The Christmas shopping season is almost over. For many shoppers around the world, a lot of what they see will have this label, "Made in China." For over a decade, China has turned into the world's factory, thanks to a panel system that provides super low-cost labor. He just told me, "You have to work hard. You use pens. He uses pens. You have to use 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 pens. Liu Jianhua spent four years in the Shenyang First Women's Prison in Liaoning Province. It's not an ordinary prison, though. For international traders, this place is also called the Shenyang Zhongli Enterprise Company Limited. According to online searches, the two places share the same address. This e-commerce website says the company has a labor force of more than 3,000 people. It mainly produces clothing, but also dabbles in Christmas decorations like this. These products are sold domestically and around the world. Lu says the prison wardens here are given bonuses based on the production level. Detainees work more than 12 hours each day, but that's not all. Because Lu was sent there for her belief in Falun Gong, she was also tortured. 垫你脖子啊，垫你脸呐、啊，垫你胳膊呀、啊，反正后背把那个衣服给你撩起来，就是垫点垫一个垫，有时候都不动啊，啪啪啪啪，一直那个打那个那个那个响啊，好那个。In addition to prison inmates, there are an estimated 200,000 registered detainees in China's labor camps. Individuals can be sent there without any legal process. In 2008, the U.S. State Department estimated practitioners of the Falun Gong spiritual practice make up about half that population. As for Liu, she managed to escape China in 2009 and has since sought asylum in the United States.